channel and check out Susan here back with another amazing video so in today's video I'm just gonna be showing you guys a typical cold day in my life and what it's like being an intern in internal medicine on a cold day so if you like this video please be sure to give it a like do subscribe leave a comment and don't forget to share okay so time check this is just 17 13 p.m. and I've just arrived at work uh, this is me in the doctor's room right now and this is my outfit of the day just some blue scrubs and a black track bottom and some pumps so yeah i'm ready to work and hopefully we'll have some interesting cases so that i can share them with you guys and you can see exactly what a cody a typical cody is in imed so please be sure to stay tuned don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you guys later bye So uh, for how long has the flu been there? In the cough? The cough, chest pain, body pain, same region. So which one started first? It was a cough. Body pain. Body pain. Body pain. Yes. Uh, have you traveled anywhere recently? No. The body pain is like my XC or sharp pain. How do you feel? Just, just pain. So the body pain started first, followed by. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you said the chest pain occurs whenever you cough. Yes. You said the sharp pain was just like the ache. The, the type of the pain, ache. like an ache, mm -hmm. where exactly in the central center of the chest, or yeah, in the mm -hmm. of this. okay, mm -hmm. and then the cough is it uh, muka cola, cola, or it's a dry cough, it's a dry, it's a dry cough. Mm -hmm. Were you exposed recently to dusty areas or environment, maybe smoke mm -hmm. dust? Mm -hmm. When it was windy, I, I remember. Mm -hmm. Okay. But not a history of travel, eh? Okay. Have you been swabbed for COVID before? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any loss of test? Like when you're eating food, is the food tasty or there's no test to the food? Like you can't taste the food? It's just, but I've lost my appetite. I've lost my appetite. Okay. Any vomiting? When you're off too much. Vomiting? Diarrhea? No. Headache? Some, sometimes. Mm -hmm. uh, dizziness? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. So the body pains are generalized? They are generalized? Mm -hmm. The body pains, so it's a specific area in the body. It's just, I'm not really playing the whole body. Have you taken anything for this problem? Any medicine? Uh, I tried the whole thing. Nothing? Mm -hmm. And you're sweating in the night, like you wear your clothes get wet. Severe sweating, like you have over up in my neck. Okay. Do you feel your heart beating fast? I mean, where am I going back? When you sleep, you don't have like a difficulty breathing. Whenever you lie facing upwards, mm -hmm. do you suffer from diabetes? Epilepsy? Asthma? Asthma? Mm -hmm. Asthma? 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 When was that? Eh? Oh, 
you you are, you are given TB treatment. Yes. Oh, for how long was it? Six, eight, 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 eight months. months. Oh, that was twenty zero eight. Yes. Oh. You finished the treatment. Oh. But any high blood pressure? about in the family any of uh, these diseases like diabetes high blood pressure right. no side blood pressure mm -hmm. no no sugar no asthma no tb no epilepsy mm -hmm. okay. and for the medicine we said you just took camoxil mm -hmm. and nothing changed okay? Any operations in the past? Any allergies that you are aware of? Like allergic medicine or certain food? Erythromycin? Azithromycin? Do you drink alcohol? Yes. What about smoking? Are you married? Yes. Any children? Yes. How many? I can swab you for COVID. Also, I was asking, like, usually in COVID, they, they lose test sensation, so they can't test it. But you can test your food. It's just that you don't have to I think something is running. Oh, okay. Basically, the patient I was going to see was having acute and chronic kidney disease throughout acute pyelonephritis and so the patient was in severe abdominal pain and he had three episodes of vomiting. So we did not have metoclopramide to give the patient so we just gave him promethazine 25 milligrams IV stat and that helps to calm the patient down and he was no longer in pain. So yeah, that's what I did for this patient and this is just me showing you me going to the patient's room in high costs a few minutes later you came straight from home uh, no. you came from the clinic hiv status so it's when you have to put a little in China. 
Okay. 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 Oh, my drinks, Manga Fanta, so Coca Cola. Mm. Okay, so you problem with the infection, Sabia Mara. I'm going to go to the manager, or a man's, and then it's in the green manning. So, when the bacteria is in the boy and caracoy, so I'm going to go to the cover. Now, diarrhea is there. So, I'm going to go to the and then any time that you have the area Muzambo Kumai, then the person is antibiotic. And so as bacteria is still there, then problem is a silly. Because it's such a big monitor for Kuja. The next day. guys so time check this is 5 52 the 15th of october uh saturday morning and i'm just coming from the laboratory right now just taking blood and speed results for a few patients that i had seen earlier so just a, a check of the patients that i saw uh, so earlier on i had clicked two patients yes well not really two but about five patients but i only recorded for two those are the ones that you saw me clicking uh, who came yesterday in the evening in the early evening yesterday yeah so they came in the early evening yesterday around maybe 19 pm or so and then um it was quiet actually until around like, maybe let's say was it 2021 20, yeah when i received a hyperglycemia patient so she was there non dm patient and hypertensive patient and she developed hyperglycemia her sugars were like 25 minimums yes yeah, so we had to start the fluids uh we, start, we had to start the fluid therapy to run them rapidly and we also uh, gave high start dose of insulin just to help to reduce the sugar yes and then we kept her in uh, observation we'll check the sugar in the morning when my senior doctor comes and then we'll see how to discharge her. so basically that one i think the problem is just with the diet yeah she just needs to be to be taught on the diet for the diabetic diet and then we'll uh, give her some insulin to take home and also antihypertensives and then she can be discharged if the sugars are low when we check and then the other patient that i had was a well, it was quite afterward until around 01, yeah, 01 a.m. where I had to be awakened to wake up from my sleep, which I was enjoying. But anyway, this job, so I can't complain. So yeah, and 01 received a patient who was also a diabetic, but she was not on diabetic medication and she was having peripheral neuropathy which i feel wasn't even urgent because her blood sugar we checked was 8.4 so she was only having peripheral neuropathies which i feel she could have come in the morning because it wasn't really an urgent thing and she didn't need to wake the hospital staff up she didn't need to wake me up from my sleep but anyway i can't complain so yeah we just treated the neuropathy and gave also insulin uh, and oral tablets and told her to come in one week with the rbs profile yeah and then who else yes so after that i went and slept until around 04 30 when i was awakened to say there was one patient who had come in so i had to go and see the patient who is the one that i'm just finished uh, 
seen about like 30 minutes ago so um he came in presenting with a uh, lower uh, he came in presenting with a uh, passing of uh, dactary stools and blood like dark blood mixed with blood clots so had to do a dre and also uh he was also having some incontinence uh urinary um incontinence dysuria yeah so i had to treat for suspected uti and also uh, uh the lower lower gi bleeding query cause so what is causing the lower gi bleeding is it the malignancy there or what so i did the dre of course mm -hmm. which well there was no hemorrhoids or stuff like that though it felt like there was some abnormal growth there but i'm yet to confirm it with my senior doctor when she comes so yeah we'll have to write malignancy or maybe an ulcer there on the lower gastrointestines that might be causing the bleeding yeah otherwise i've admitted him for now just given a status of antibiotics and uh, painkiller because he's having some pain in his abdomen and got the blood the baselines to just check for the blood group in case we need to transfuse him because he's really like moderately pale because of the blood loss so yeah just got the baselines for the full blood count the h pylori also just in case there's h pylori there um and the blood group and cross match yes otherwise and the UNE is the LFT is creatinine, yeah, you know those baselines and also some ultrasound of the abdomen uh, just to see if there's any perforation there and also yeah, a urinalysis to check if there's any bacteria in the urine causing the pain. Yeah, so basically that's it. I'm now back at the hospital ward to just run through my patients who I had admitted and then yeah. So this is me after my post call round and time check it is 10:40 a.m here and i'm just on my way home so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in my next video love you guys bye i don't know how we got here but